In this lecture, we will learn about an optimization technique known as branch and bound. So branch and bound is a very powerful tool that helps us solve optimization problem. Okay, so optimization problems. So it is a very good tool to solve optimization problems when you have to maximize something given some constraint, minimize something given some constraint. Okay, so this is the branch and bound method. And we will learn about this method by solving a specific problem known as 0 1 knapsack problem. Okay, so the takeaway from this lecture is first is how to solve optimization problem. Okay, so first one is how to solve optimization problem using branch and bound method. And here we will try to find what is known as upper bound of or lower bound of some function. Okay, so upper bound or lower bound of some functions we will estimate and based on that we reduce the number of searches. Okay, so reduce number of searches. So this is the main method that is used in branch and bound. So let's see. So we will learn also about state space. So let's take one specific problem that is 0 1 knapsack problem. We have already seen how to solve this using dynamic programming, but we will use branch and bound now to solve this. So let's recap quickly what is 0 1 knapsack problem. So it's a problem where you are given n items. Okay, each item has some benefits. Let's say B1, B2, B3 till Bn dollars. And they have weights W1, W2, W3 till Wn. And we have a knapsack, okay, a bag which can have a maximum capacity of M. So you have to fill that knapsack with the items such that you obtain the maximum benefit. Okay. So this is the problem. You have to maximize your benefit by placing items. And the constraint is your weight of the item should never be more than M. And for zero one, it means you can either take an item or not take it. You cannot cut that item into pieces of fractional knapsack problem. So that is not allowed. Okay, so either you have to take that item or you don't take it. Okay. So for example, just let's see, we have four items and item one has weight three, item two has weight five, item weight three has weight nine, item four has five. And the benefits are, let's say $45 for first one, for second it's 30, for third one it's 45 and fourth one 10. And what is the maximum weight of your knapsack? The capacity is 16. Okay. So this is the problem. So we want to formulate it in terms of mathematical model. Okay. So let's have variables x1, x2, x3 till xn where each x size is either 0 or 1. Okay. And what it represents that if x i is equal to 0, if I don't choose the item, I don't put it in knapsack. Okay. Don't put and it is equal to 1 if we put it in our knapsack. Okay. So this is as simple as this. So now you have to basically maximize B i X i. Okay. So we are, if we are taking the first and fourth item, it will be X one is one X four is one and third and second item. We are not taking X two is zero X three is zero. So we have to maximize this B i X i the benefit into its presence and the, it is from i is equal to 1 to n and the constraint is that items that you choose should not be the weight should not be greater than m so this is the constraint this is we have to maximize so this is an optimization problem now as these are all decisions there are x1 x2 x3 till xn we either take or don't take so it is we have 2 to the power of n possibility. First item I can choose, I cannot choose. Second item I cannot choose, I can choose. So this way it keeps on going and your 
you have basically 2 to the power of n possibilities are there if there are n items okay so of course this becomes exponential in terms of the selections okay and it is hard to solve so we now look at state space diagram okay so it basically represents a tree where you need to search so we start at the root of this tree and how many choices we have for the first item i can choose so let us have the left child x1 means i'm choosing the first item then x1 is 1 if i am not choosing the first item x1 is 0 next what happens you have this left child and right child again at each one now at the second level of the tree i have to decide if i choose the second item or not so this one represents the left child again x2 is 1 it means i'm choosing the second item x2 is 0 i'm not choosing the second item if i come here in the third level so it means i have for this path x1 is 1 x2 is 1 i have chosen the first two items so x3 is 1 here the left child which means i have chosen the first three x3 is 0 it means i have not chosen the third item so this path represents item 1 item 2 are chosen item 3 is not chosen similarly if i come here it means to this leaf node it means i have chosen first two items i have not chosen item 3 and item 4 okay so this is the state space and i have made it it has four levels okay and finally all the leaves represent the possible solutions because when you reach the leaf so there is a path so for this one when i'm at this node let's say this leaf node so i go to the root via this path x1 is 1 here x2 is 0 x3 is 0 and this is x4 is 1 it means so i'm choosing the first and last item i'm not choosing second and third so there are if you see 16 leaves so we also saw that if there are n items there are 2 to the power of n possibilities so 4 items 2 to the power of 4 possibilities equal to 16 so this is all depicted by this state space so and for this path we have uh, let's say for the green path we have item 1 2 and 3 chosen so benefit is 45 plus 30 70 plus 45 it's 120 but the weight becomes 17 your knapsack capacity is 16 so it's not a feasible solution okay feasible means your constraint should be satisfied okay so now let's see how so there are how many searches it was a big tree okay so even for i four items it becomes such a huge tree so you can imagine now if there are 10 items 2 to the power of 10 1 0 2 4 such searches will be there or leaves node if there are 15 how much is it so 2 to the power of 5 into 1024 so something like 1k into 32k 32k searches will be there okay so it's huge and we want so of course if you search all these paths this is a brute force method you will get the answer but it's not recommended you will get solutions which is which will be too slow okay you want to make it faster so what to do